question. Have you ever done a word association? I say a word and you respond with the first thing that comes into your mind. For example, I say word and you may say association. <laughs> well, I may say righteousness. You would say, how about the word light? There are many associations with the word and idea of light. Hello, I'm Pastor Craig. Thank you for joining me for our weekly communion, staying connected in a changed and ever-changing world. Well, today I'd like to leave you with three micro steps, moving you from cynicism, fear, and doubt toward clarity, beauty, and truth. First of all, admit, admit that there still is darkness in you and that you are blind to your own faults and have difficulty seeing God's infinite glory and love. Second of all, adore, praise God for being light in which there is no darkness. Third, aspire, aspire to let God's light shine in you and through you in this changed and ever-changing world. Not convinced, not really sure maybe what even Pastor Craig's talking about today. Well, let's take a look at what the good book says. We're gonna be reading from Psalm 97, verses 10 through 12 today. Psalm 97, verses 10 through 12. Let those who love the Lord hate evil, for he guards the lives of his faithful ones and delivers them from the hand of the wicked. Light is shed upon the righteous, and joy on the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, you who are righteous, and praise His holy name. Well, light is sown on the righteous. Tim Keller in his devotional, The Songs of Jesus, says, if we remove our idols, transforming the God things in our hearts back to mere good things, then light shines on us. We saw that in verse 11. Light shines on the righteous. Some older translations actually say light is sown in us. Now the word sown comes from the word sow. We reap what we sow. It means it's planted in us. And light refers both to truth and the clarity or understanding it brings, as well as to holiness and the beauty it brings. God's light is perfect knowledge and infinite glory. Question, how does that happen? When we believe in Christ, God's Spirit indwells us. We see that in 1 Corinthians 3.16. Don't you know that you yourselves are God's temple and that God's Spirit dwells in you? 2 Timothy 1.14 tells us to guard the, the good deposit that was entrusted you with the help of the Holy Spirit who lives in you. And Romans 8.9-11 tells us over and over again about how the Holy Spirit is given to us. I'm going to read that for you. You, however, are controlled not by the sinful nature, but by the Spirit, if the Spirit of God lives in you. And if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he does not belong to Christ. But if Christ is in you, your body is dead because of sin. Yet your spirit is alive because of righteousness. And if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who lives in you. God then indeed sows light in us. And like a seed that grows, it will spread wisdom and beauty in our lives. 
Christians find what they see in the world and in their own hearts making more sense. And people around Christians see them slowly but surely turning into something loving and beautiful. Constant light and joy are our testimony of the truth of Christ to a changed and ever-changing world. Would you pray with me? Lord, I praise you that you are light and declare there is no darkness in you. Yet I admit that there is still darkness in me and I am blind to my own faults. At times I find it hard to see your glory and even love during my, my day-to-day routine. Would you, O oh Lord, fill my inner being with your light, whatever the cost, so that I may be, and all those around me, the, our, our UC family, that we may be a testimony of your goodness and light to a world that so desperately needs it. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, take some time now and go deeper into the psalm. Get out that notebook and pen, adore, write down uh, what this psalm teaches about who God is and why you should praise him. Admit, what does it teach about me and who I am, that which I should admit or confess and aspire? What does it teach about life and what we should aspire to or ask God for? I want to thank you for joining me for our weekly communion. You can listen to all our messages and worship services on YouTube, Facebook, and now Instagram by typing in the words Union Church Rio. See, share, subscribe. Stay well, friends. Stay connected in a changed and ever-changing world.